Hi guys, check out this story of a Filipino entrepreneur here in Singapore who lost a lot of money in his restaurant business. But it did not stop him. It did not stop him from starting new businesses. And the good news is, he is coming back in the country next year for good. Check this interview out. By the way guys, before we start this interview, I'd like to invite you to Stock Smart Singapore happening this week. The link is down below. Join us for the basics, the technicals, and the fundamentals of the stock market with the heart and the goal for you to win and so you can trade the markets with ease and confidence. Hi guys, I'm in Singapore and as you know, no, what I do is I we feature different people para you get inspired by uh, their life and how they actually do it. So we just had lunch uh, with this with this guy. This is uh, Eric Domingo. Yes. Hello. He attended Stock Smarts. Uh, anong anong year? Anong year? Na year na yun? Uh, 2014. 2014. Okay. Pero are you are you still investing in the stock market? Naman? Yes, invested. Pa din. Invested. Pa din. Okay. May, may good news ako guys. Uh, how long have you been here in Singapore? Almost nine. Almost nine, Almost years. nine years. So good news is he is coming back home. Naman. So this is a Major feel good story with a twist also because it's nice to hear Filipinos that uh, are working abroad that somehow some way also that they started to find something that they can do a business or investments or their savings are okay na makauwi sila. So ngayon uh, you're starting a business next year, yes? Next year. In the Philippines. Pero you also had other businesses in the Philippines also. Yeah, I have currently uh, okay. an agriculture company, uh, Choco Farm Lab. So, oh, a Choco yeah. Farm. How's it doing? It's uh, cacao. Uh, so mm. uh, by next year, we're targeting na uh, harvest na kami. But okay, that was you will export. You will export that. To, export uh, no. the beans to okay. uh, big, big companies soon. Now, tapos dito, you are working as a... Um, as a programmer. Programmer. What kind of programming? Uh, web development. Okay. <laughs> web development sa Standard Chartered. So, ah, so bank, fin, ba banking din. Oh, innovation. Uy, nandun yung cousin ko. Sa Standard Chartered. Standard oh. Chartered. oh. oh and dito? Dito, dito, dito. May cousin ako dyan. Oh, Luisa ah, Andrade. Hindi <laughs> alam kung kilala mo. Check mo, Luisa Andrade. So, next next question is this. Uh, you mentioned before that you started a uh, business about food naman. Yeah. Tapos, it... Did, did, did it do well? Not so well? Uh, it went well for uh, one and a half years. Okay. But eventually, we need to fold that because we're losing money in, uh, in terms of uh, sa, sa, sa rent. Okay. So it's a big loss of loss. So we closed it down, but there are a lot of learnings that Mar Mar uh, so that I was able to apply in, in my current ventures. Pero, you were able to break even naman, recover the money that you place or talagang uh, hindi pa siya dumating sa point na na-break even yung pera nyo? Hindi. Talaga? It, it, it didn't uh, go well kasi uh, ano, parang malaking ano, malaking risk yung nag-dive agad kami. Uh, uh, konting ano lang, konting studies lang, tapos uh, walang kaalaman lang. It was our first time. So, <laughs> oh, okay, lang Can you can you share what was the biggest loss in amount na na, na, na ano mo doon? Para this, baka there are people who are losing money also sa business nila na medyo nawawala na sila ng pag-asa na they don't know if they'll quit na lang or paglalaban pa nila. Ayun, millions. Uh, and million, eh, hindi ko na lang sasabihin yung man. Okay, ma. Uh, pero nasa 20 million? <laughs> ah, hindi naman kasi <laughs> ano, restaurant lang okay, naman. Okay, okay, pero okay. malaking bahagi. And then hindi naman yun uh, parating mayroon tayong hawak na billions, di ba? Okay, so, okay. Uh, ah, so, it's a big amount. Purse. It's a big yeah, amount. It was my purse. Because ikaw lang yun or hati-hati kayo na wala ng pera nun? Uh, hati-hati. Okay. Pero mas malaking bagay yun sa akin. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, so, baka sabihin nila, medyo na. Hindi, may hawak. Lahat naman nang taga-Singapore, guys. Guys, guys. IT pa, IT pa. Kaya, kaya IT ako lumalapit pa. dito IT, eh. IT kasi... pa. <laughs> yun yung sinasabi nila lahat ng tao. Pero to, sa totoo lang, kayo yung mga 28 billion dollars in remittances per year, guys. Oh. Anyways, ah, uh, Meron akong ano doon ba? May <laughs> portion kayo doon. Uh, next, next question. So, you lost this you lost this big amount of millions. After you you lost it, uh, paano, mo, paano mo nasabi na 
ito na yung turning point ko na sige, sara na lang natin ito, huwag ko na paglaban yung negosyo. Kasi may may bang entrepreneur talaga na, hindi, baby ko to passion ko to at pinaghirapan ko to nag-resign ako sa trabaho na para dito. Ano yung naging deciding factor na sige, tigil na to Ayun, so sobrang sakit na siya sa, sa, sa wallet. And then, hindi na ako nakakatulog na paano, paano ba siya i-reliver, paano ba kami mag-pivot or wala, wala lang ibang nakitang hope. So, yun, kailangan nang i-cut loss talaga kasi uh, otherwise, uh, we'll keep on uh, losing money. So, parang it was bleeding money for every, uh, everyone. How many months was it parang losing money also? Medyo matagal din. Uh, we were gambling for about 8 uh, months. Okay. So first few months, we kita then eight months late. It was it was losing money, losing money already. Whoa! Very good. So, yun kaya 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 ako na lamang na yung F&B na business is really a tough industry. Lalo na pag ano sa nasa casual dining scene kasi madami ka laban eh na ano cakap hindi hindi lang sa madami ka laban yung market nyan medyo maarte. Oh hindi yun yung kasi hindi yung fast food, pangit quality, okay lang kasi mure and people, oh, yun eh, pero pag when you start going higher, yung quality and then yung market, medyo mas ma, mas maarte Tama. sila. So something something like that. So, uh, ano, it was a lack of sales plus may uh, meron pa? Yung, yung rent talaga, sobrang, okay. sobrang malaking factor siya na, 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 na kinakain niyo yung sales. Pero did you get a big, uh, so the sales was consistent, it's just that, uh, malaki malaki lang talaga yung rent. Kaya... May may mga times na malaki yung uh, sales, may mga times din naman na ano, uh, lean yung yung sales namin. Okay. Mahit. Pero if you if you started with a space na smaller, tas iba yung location, tas smaller yung rent, you think uh, it would have been a better outcome or yes, actually if uh, if I would do it again, I would start smaller na. And then uh, yun parang MVP na lang. And then eventually, I iterate ko, tapos magimprove, maggagawing malaki. Depende sa sa turn turn out ng customers or ng sales. Okay, so at least, di ba? Yun yung sinasabi ko sa mga entrepreneur. It's better that you're doing it now, na may trabaho ka. Iba yung iba yung story na ginawa mo yun na yun na lang yung ginagawa mo, wala ka ng sweldo mas scary yun kasi uh, you will lose everything tsaka yung day to day mo na kain mo maapektuhan din maapektuhan din nun so you have a cow business, you're still employed here and then you're opening a tech startup uh, next year also yes, eventually, okay. I'm crossing my fingers uh, I'll, I'll, I will leave Singapore na so I, I will focus on the tech startup and then yun, exciting times next year <laughs> exciting times, so uh, How do I end this? Ito na lang. Any words of encouragement for Filipinos that don't know what to do? I I mean they're working here pero five years, ten years, twenty years sila nandito pero wala silang naipon. They don't. But because you're the minority, majority of Filipinos still are not into taking care of their future. What can what can you at least tell them? Na lalo na sa yon. You lost money. People always think that when I'm business, I'm what? What? I'm going to franchise. I'm going to see it. And you've seen it that it's not like that. I'm an advocate of personal finance. I really enjoy sharing my my experiences, my learnings, especially when it comes to investing. So, yun. Ang may papayo ko lang sa mga, lalo na sa mga OFW, kasi sobrang dami nga ng kailangan kailangan nating pupunuan uh, sa mga OFW when it comes to uh, financial management. So, yung mapapayo ko is uh, take charge of your your finances. Uh, I-budget nyo yung mga, mga income nyo. Kumuha kayo ng mga paraan na yun, mapalago yung, yung money nyo. Put that into investments. Uh, don't focus on just one investment, lalo na sa pag real estate lang uh, or condo. So uh, find 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 other ways na ma ma ano ba yun, ma, ma capitalize and then you you can gain more. Alright, so that's it. No, again, this is a major me me sad story sa gitna, pero it comes out still na it's something good. Kaya ngat. Please, ah, don't be scared to start businesses. Cause and don't be, don't be scared to fail. Eh, Cause when you start failing, 
uh, it, it allows you to do better later on eh. Mas mad, ito, ito gusto ko sabihin. Mas madaming tao na natalo dahil hindi nila sinubukan. As compared to people na natalo sila, pero because of that uh, loss, it created a framework na gumaling din sila later on. Kung nanonood ka ng Golden State Warriors, di ba? Ano, uh, if you follow basketball, they lost and then they won. And every, every, in, in, in life, no, you wouldn't see a good entrepreneur that, has, that hasn't lost money kasi it happens and it's part, it's part of how you go through it. So, yun. Yun. So, I'll see you in Manila or in Cebu, whatever happens. And let's update his story. Baka, mamaya, lahat ng mga nagtetect na yan, sila yung sobrang yumayaman, guys. From zero to a hundred million valuation in dollars. Soon. Thank yes. you, Marv. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, oh, so. Sa mga see, taong katulad mo. Di naman, di naman. So, <laughs> Inspiring. Ah, ganun. Salamat, salamat. I hope this video, guys, help you. Tradable, trade, strong, trade, smart. See you all. Marvin Germo from Singapore. Bye-bye.